Hey guys! So I have a random small little video I thought I would share with you guys. I've just been thinking about it lately and it's again it's probably weird um, but I'm gonna share with you guys all of my phone cases that I have because I think I have a problem with buying phone cases. I, I buy them all the time because for one they're so cheap on Amazon. They're so affordable. Um, or even eBay. The majority of the ones that I have are from Amazon, but I do have one or two that are from eBay. But I just thought I'd share with you guys the phone cases that I have and my most used and most favorite ones. So I'm going to start with the simple one. Um, what I love about this case is that it is very protective. Um, like the sides are just very protected. This is a very hard plastic. Now originally this had like a plastic um, sheet attached to the front which I left on for a while because that way it also protects your screen but it just got to the point when when you were trying to type on it or something like I would feel the plastic attached to the front like push down while I'm typing and I just didn't like it so I took that out but it's still a very very good case when I do use it I just put one of my pop sockets on the back here but again it's a simple clear case with the black trim I really like this one this one is actually the exact same case as that it's just different I know you guys have seen this it is the really like pretty colorful marbled look with um, like this part is light pink around it so it's clear on the side and you can kind of see the pink through it um, but I also like took the little screen protector part off of this one as well because this one was way worse when typing like you really felt the plastic pushing down with your fingers and it was just weird so I just took it out it was very easy to do but I really like these cases because they're protective and they're cute. I really, really like this one. <sighs> this one I was slightly disappointed in. I do like it. It is cute. It's um, it's a protective case, but it, and it is marble. But the marble effect looks a little blurry, if you will. It's not the most clear, so it could have been made well, made a little bit better. And I just have like my little alien pop socket on there. But it's still really, really cute. You don't have to take like this part off and then put your phone in here first and put this back on. You can, but I always just shove my phone right in there. But I like the colors, the simplicity of it. Typically, like with this kind of case, I would have a plain pop socket, but um, I really only have two plain ones and they're on other phone cases right now. So... There's that phone case. This one you guys have seen because I've kept it in my purse for so long in case I did want to switch to it. It's not a super protective case. It's also very, very thin. It's just a thin, sleek case. But it's also got the marble effect with like these gold triangles and a little bit of blue. And I thought the pop of color with the cheetah print pop socket looked good on this. So this is one of my favorite cases. I do really enjoy using it. This one I think is really, really pretty. Um, it's not like really silicone. It's actually pretty stable. It feels like this is actually pretty protective as well, but it's still kind of sleek at the same time. But it is the Starry Night scene, and it has little gold flecks in it. I think it's so pretty. So this one is really fun. This one's just like a bendable, flexible thing. Not super protective, but it's just a really cute decorative case. The only thing I don't like is I would have to put my pop socket up here in the middle and hold my phone like this. And I like my pop sockets like down here. Um, that's just where I'm comfortable with my pop sockets. But with these flowers, like you could, they're like kind of raised. So the pop socket wouldn't stick to this unless I glued it down, which I have done to a couple of my cases. So those pop sockets I can't switch out to other phones because they're actually glued to certain cases. I'll explain why in one minute. But so this one I just thought was super duper pretty. I loved the floral print on it. This one I like but 
and it does fit my phone but it's slightly off so it's slightly off in the buttons on the side so my phone fits in here perfectly and it is really pretty I like the silver glitter and everything but um, the buttons on this side aren't lined up correctly they're a little spread apart so when my phone is in here the power button keeps getting pushed um, without me doing it so I don't know if there's a way I could actually fix that. If I could actually cut the upraised like right here, cut these into just tiny little holes where I could just feel my actual buttons on my phone, maybe it would work, but I would need something strong enough because this is really, really thick plastic. But either way, it's very pretty. And I think you guys have seen this one before. I also really like this. Um, I just thought it was adorable. Little space theme. I love anything to do with like the moon and stars and um, all of that kind of stuff. And I like the little rocket ships on there. It's kind of like a playful case. Now these right here are like my absolute favorite cases that I switch back and forth to more often. Now this one I did have to glue um, the pop socket onto because of the texture of the back of this phone. A pop socket wouldn't just stick to it by itself, so I super glued the pop socket on so I cannot put this pop socket on any other phone. But it's just this black case. But see, like with this one, there's this must be like a glitter sheet of paper that's actually like inside of this because this is like completely smooth. Whereas with this one, you know, you actually, the glitter doesn't like come off or anything, but it's like gritty um, glitter. So you can tell where the glue is that, cause I've like, when you push this down, the glue kind of came out from underneath it. But um, I did glue it down so it works, but I really love this case. And I had it for so, so, so long and never used it because my pop sockets wouldn't stick to it and it drove me crazy. So finally I just decided to super glue it and I left it overnight to completely dry. So this is the phone case I've actually been using recently. This one you guys have seen. It's one of my favorites. It's so freaking cute. Not super protective, but again, just a really cute playful case. I love the pastel colors. The unicorns are just cute. The iridescent looking pop socket. I just feel like it kind of ties it all together. I really, really like this case. It's definitely a top favorite. This case I also really love. This, typically I have the black pop socket on this. Um, but again, I just super glued it to that glittery case. So I have this colorful one on there, which I guess is okay for this case, but I really like it. I like that it has like the blue that goes into the pinky red, into the purple, and it does have like stars on it. This one I think did come from eBay. And then this is the one you guys saw. It was a completely clear case. I just kind of DIY'd. Um, I cut a little rectangle of the scrapbook paper and I like laid it into the case and used the X-Acto knife to cut the little circle here, to cut this out and to cut it to where it fits perfectly. Now, as you can tell, what side is it on? Right here, it doesn't come down as far. It kind of like, you know, got a little crooked, but that doesn't bother me because typically I'm holding my phone like this anyway and who's going to inspect my phone that close, you know what I mean? And this one's just like total Christmas vibes to me. I will use this for the holiday season mostly, but I mean I'll still use it at any point in time because this is like a really popular pattern right now. This is also one of my favorites you guys have seen. Um, again, it's from Amazon. I just really think it's really pretty. I like how it has this like birch white wood look with like the little triangle thing and then all these roses up top it's just so pretty and it's just like um really girly I guess now this is like my all-time favorite case it's extremely protective it's so simple it's very hard plastic and clear with silver glitter on it and I have my favorite well okay the other cheetah print 
pop socket you saw on that one case is one of my favorite pop sockets, but this one is as well. It's a black and gray cheetah print case, but this is the most protective case that I have. Now to get your phone into it, you actually have to take that part off, put your phone into here, and then put the snap that back on. But I just really, really like how simple this is, but it's still really pretty at the same time. You just see your black phone in it. I don't know. I really like it. Um, this one was probably the most expensive case I did buy, and it was like $12.99. Um, the rest, I typically pay between $5.99 to like $7.99 for phone cases, but this one I just wanted so bad I didn't mind paying the $12, $13. So yeah, typically I have more cases. Like for my old phone, I have a shoebox full of cases, but there's no need to show you those because I don't use that phone. But I'm sure I'll add more. I just have this weird thing with phone cases. I mean, I do like to switch it up and... You know, they're not super expensive, so again, I think if I if I collect anything at all, I think I collect purses, I Love Lucy stuff, and phone cases. Maybe a weird combination of things to collect, but that is uh, me in a nutshell. So I'm going to go. I have to work on a different video really quick and get a bunch of links for you guys. I'm getting really, really tired. It's way later than I wanted it to be. I really just want to go to sleep. So I'm going to go for now. I know this was probably weird and boring and you guys could care less about phone cases, but I feel like somebody out there might be curious. I don't know. And I doubt you guys have my same phone, but if anybody else out there is an Android user and has the Motorola G8 Play phone. That is the phone that I have. I can link these cases for you. Otherwise, if you don't have an Android or a phone anywhere like I do, then just search phone cases on Amazon for your phone and you will be surprised at what you find. There's a lot of funky ones. There's a whole bunch of really cute ones and they're all so affordable. I always want to go on Etsy and have a custom one made, but I don't think anybody makes them for my phone specifically. Um, I guess I could ask somebody to, but then they would charge a lot of money for a phone case. And I just feel like most people with Etsy shops that make things for phones are usually for iPhones or like Samsung Galaxies because those are like the most popular phones. I don't have a popular phone, so nobody cares to make things for my style phone. But anyway, I'm seriously getting really, really tired here. I just want to get in bed and lay and um, figure out what's going on tomorrow. So, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to you all. I hope you enjoy your time with your family if you do get to see them. If any of you are quarantined or you're too afraid to be with your family, just know I am thinking of you guys. And I am praying for you all, and I hope you all can enjoy your turkey day. Um, I don't think I'm going to get to spend it with my mom, and I mean, that's okay. I'll still get to see her over the weekend, but we're not really doing anything anyway. It's just going to be the three of us here at home. Um, originally, my fiancé was going to have to work. He may still, but he may not. I don't know. If he does have to work, I will try and vlog for you guys tomorrow um, if he doesn't work and he's at home, I will just try and do a sit-down video at night. So either way, I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.